It's Ken Rakowski. Welcome to the Voice of Disruption. We're doing Music Disrupted today. And in our studio, of course, Mr. Scott Page is joining us. Scott has Yay. been with some of the... <laughs> some of the top bands in the world. You sit back, Scott, and look at some of the old bands that you've toured with. Right. And they're still out there. They're still, they're out, still there. out jamming, right? Yep. And a lot of these, these old school bands are making more money than some of the new school bands. Oh, it's even, even crazier than that. Even some of the old school tribute bands are making more money than bands. What, what are you saying? There's a band, Brit Floyd. Brit, Brit Floyd, Floyd is one of the top Pink Floyd tribute bands doing revenue of $34 million a year. That's incredible. That's a tribute band. So when you're saying the old bands, what's very interesting is people want, are really flocking to that. You're seeing Led Zeppelin bands. People want to go and experience that kind of old school stuff. So these guys are cleaning up right now. Since you did play with Floyd, when you listen yeah. to a tribute band, are they pretty close? You know, it's funny. I just played with Britt Floyd at the Wiltern Theater, and I felt like I was actually on the bandstand. It's so funny, they learn the things exactly. We were doing a rehearsal, not with that one, with another tribute band. We were rehearsing, and I came out and I started to play, and the guy, stop the band, stop the band. And he says, that's not what you played. What? I said, I don't know, every night I'd play a different solo. He says, no, we're doing the third night at the Palace of Versailles <laughs> at this time, and so you gotta play what you played. So I had to go down in the dressing room, pull really? it up on YouTube, listen to what I played. So it's that like I choreographed. Could yeah, because they, it was all answer and call and response between Dave Gilmore and myself, so it had to work together, so I had to learn my part, so I thought that was funny. Yeah, but you saw that that was talent. I mean, they got talent. Oh yeah, I mean, what's so great about the old days is it was really about, you had to play. You know, if you had to put a solo on, you had to muster it up and you put the whole solo on. Nowadays, you just kind of throw something down, they'll go and fix it, I get it, it. but like crazy. I said, you know talent. I think I know pretty you good, I, I care about talent. There's a reason, because sitting between us, you say this is talent. Yeah, no, no question. Nico Frank has joined us. Yes, I just met Nico uh, probably, how long ago? How, how long have we known? We've played a few times together now. Yeah, about a year. About a year, a year half, yeah, doing the Sunday like sessions and stuff. And there yeah, he's. He's the real deal. I see him watch him on YouTube, uh, on YouTube and on Cheers. Instagram a lot. He's always on doing uh, stuff. Ah, yeah. it's interesting when you say I see him on YouTube and Instagram. That's like the place now. Totally. Yeah, yeah totally. YouTube is really it, isn't it? Well, it's amazing because it allows the artist to give so much exposure to themselves. If it's good product, people will listen. People will watch. What happens when you're on your platforms, being specifically YouTube, and something negative pops up? One, how do you feel about that when you see it? When you see a thumbs down or you see something that just doesn't sit right with you, do you erase it? Do you fix it? Do you modify it? Do you cry, cover it up or you just keep it the way it is? Well, I think the most important thing is understanding um, where people are coming from most of the time. Because mm -hmm. when you see that sort of stuff, I mean, you can just look at it and go, oh, screw that, like that's awful. Or you can sit back and go, they're sitting at their home, you know, judging me from afar and like it's but isn't everyone totally no it totally is and i think that you or know, wait scott's got something or about. what i it's interesting because i've been to some posting when i get those i try to make it a challenge to try to rechange their thinking so i reach there out to them and you know what's interesting is is those end up sometimes being the most rabid fan yep because you reached out to them you reached out to them and said hey i'm sorry what's what's the deal let's have this conversation and it's amazing i turned some people around the other day and now they're like my biggest advocate so i look at it like what trip advisor is so somebody stays at a hotel they didn't get the right stay they wanted they may complain on the trip advisor page yep. and then general manager comes by and says we are really sorry let us fix it and you almost have to look at yourself like that type of product that brand sure. how can i make your experience better right absolutely so question i asked uh, before we start started and I'm gonna ask Scott and then it's gonna be directly related, related to you. As an artist, mm -hmm. do you work on your music at a certain point in time where you get better and better and better and great? Or do you work on your brand and just better, better, better and great? Uh, it, you kind of have to do both. You have that. to work kind of both sides of it because if you don't, because here's the deal, rising above the noise today, meaning that everybody in the business, if you've got garage band, you're in the music business, right? You're in the record business and people are putting out CDs, they're trying to give you stuff. So how do you rise above the noise? It's really about your brand, your brand story. So it's really critical that you build that because here's the deal. Social media used to be a marketing tool. It's your business now because whoever owns that audience wins. If you build a rabid, serious audience, they'll follow, you'll go wherever you wanna go and if you can service them with the right information and the right product, they'll be there forever. And that's really where the money is today because it's all about lifestyle. So Nico, how do you build your brand? So what was really crucial to my entire musical experience was going to uh, art school. So my musical uh, career actually started there. 
And uh, I was surrounded by the most amazing people when it comes to creative visual people. Okay. Um, so after studying industrial and service design, which incorporates quite a bit of graphic design and brand representation mm -hmm. into the, I mean, like that's what we did. We worked with brands too. But how does that enhance your brand today? So by approaching it, uh, by approaching myself, again, you have to completely dislocate yourself from you the scenario. Absolutely, <laughs> right. You have to be a third person. Totally. And? and uh, well, I guess, you don't have an answer. M more so, more so. It's I'm still that's working okay. on it. That's okay. No, but exactly. that's okay. And I think I'm going to go back to something. And I again, Scott Space to me mm -hmm. is probably one of my favorite acronyms Yay. I use on a regular basis. Do you know about space? Here we go. First S is your story. Explain story, Scott. Story is probably the mm -hmm. most critical piece. The part that's the once you figure that out, everything flows from that. So story, it's not, hey, I grew up in Chicago, I play the guitar, I write songs every day. That's not the story we're talking about. What's That's the part story? Of it. The story is what do you stand for? What problem are you solving? And Amazing. what value are you bringing to a community? Because to sure. create a commercial movement, you need to create a rally So cry. you may not have an answer hey, today, but it's important to have that. Yeah. And That's why amazing. It's, okay. And why it's important too is because now with all the data science and the ability, once I know that story, it gives me the key words, phrases, and things that I can go find your audience that cares about that story. So from- brilliant. Totally different. Like if you're brilliant. focusing on yeah. PETA or if you're focusing on empowerment of women, those are those micro segments that you focus on. Sure. Make sense? Absolutely. P is plan, you know, space. Um, SP, yeah. Yes, plan. Plan, plan, and plan yeah. is? Sure. The plan is, is part of the thing about having a plan is the most important part of the plan is not just knowing what to do, but knowing what not to do. Example. And that's why sure. an example. So an example is what I would suggest, and I recommend this to everybody. Silicon Valley uses a thing called the Lean Startup Movement. There's a thing called the Lean Canvas, which is a one-page business plan. It's a business plan. plan. It's a one-page business plan. Have you done plan. a business plan? Uh, just not, not really. It's okay. No. This is amazing, guys. This Thank is you. Important. Like, this is so, yeah. cool. so let's just yeah. say plan. Next is your army. Yes, army. Mm -hmm. That's where I think artists kind of fail to me because they need a team. You got to have a team to do this. Absolutely. They don't do you bother have a team? putting it together. So yeah, your yeah, super totally. fans are those ones that you want to give them that responsibility because they're waiting for you. Yeah. You how bring? do you bring them into the process with you mm -hmm. to make them part of your army, your team? Right. It's very Next important. Next is C is Definitely. conversion, making money. How are you making money doing this right now? Shows. Shows, just regular shows, on and on and on. And you're focusing on the college markets where you're going. Absolutely. Which is a huge market. Totally. It's, and yep. it sounds like there's a nice, easy way to knock on those doors to spread out as much as you can. Well, definitely. And I'm working uh, with a, a friend of mine, so I guess another part of the team. You got one of your Army members there. There you go. Uh, his name's Ari Herstand, and he um, is... is uh, well known for being the guy to push artists toward the college uh, oh. market. Yeah. Well, that's good. Remember, it's it. all about those niches. The members totally. of the richest niches. Yeah. So, he is but, but I'm going to go back to conversion uh, real quick. The important part of conversion, conversion sure. is understanding how to convert people from a hobby into a paying customer. Right. Go learn about conversion funnels. So conversion go to funnels. Google, type yeah. it in conversion funnels. The beautiful part about Google is everything you need to learn to build your business is going to be there. An easy way. Have you ever bought a car? Uh, I say that in California because <laughs> a lot of people haven't. Mm -hmm. No, I have. I have so no. a, 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 a car company, you know, a Ford dealership, a Toyota, mm -hmm. they will do different forms of marketing externally, TV, sure. radio, mass mail. And that's a funnel to bring somebody in. As they bring them in, they see if they're a client that our customer is ready to buy right now. Maybe they're not ready to buy. So they narrow that funnel till they get to that one customer that's ready to put down the money. Understood. Your funnel is how do people get exposed to you, get excited about you, and then pay you. Yeah, and a funnel starts with... You first time you meet them, you have a conversation. Do you know what the next yeah. time you talk to them, what you're going to say? And the next time and the next time. So you kind of pre-build that so that you're moving them through to build the trust to where they'll buy or get involved in what And everything Scott's exactly. saying is the last one, that's E, that's education. Yeah. Education mm -hmm. is making sure you are informed as well as your audience is informed. Definitely. Now, we said all this. I know it's a lot. Good news is you are so deep in the music scene, your focus is only music. You're not right. at Baskin Robbins working on a side gig, No. <laughs> no. There's some good ice cream there. It is good ice cream. Scott, you do get excited about this guy. You see he's got I do. Talent. I think he's really got the talent, and I think he's got, you've got a good vibe because part of the Cheers. relationship, <laughs> part of the game now is the relationship with your fans. Definitely. And that's a really important part of it is when you have that ability to be able to communicate and deal with the fans and they like what you're doing, and that's obviously All right. what we're seeing happen. Let's just shut Cheers. up for a second. Ready? Okay. We're not going to say anything. Impress us with your secret sauce. My secret sauce. I don't know what it is. What do you do that's so different? Hmm. Mm. Scott, well, you, you got, he's got it. What is it? <laughs> so, 
honestly, I think the most impre- like the most important thing that I've found when it comes to it's uh, doing this yes the show your performance. And, it's the performance, but it's a, the perspective of the performance that I think brings people in mostly. Is that what hooking it, or you just have something different, Scott? No, I mean, clearly performance is the place where you really have the opportunity to convert. Because when Definitely. you're in front of somebody, that's the best possible way that you can actually convert them to get to find out who you are. So basically being able to have that opportunity to communicate, that's a big deal. It's like totally. right now, what I'm doing, because I'm converting on my Pink Floyd channel, I'm doing over 100 video direct messages to all these people every day. It's amazing. I mean, and it's just- I've been watching it's your stuff on Instagram. It's converting, it's converting, it's converting, and it's, inc- it's incredible. Because once totally. people, you have that relationship, that one-on-one, right. and that's what's so great about social, is it's amazing. One video to that person, they can become, you can, they can become somebody for life. There right? you go. I'd love to find you and hang out with you, spend more time with you virtually. Where do we go? So it's at, it's Nico Frank. Um, it's- at NicoFrank.com. Everywhere. No. Actually, at It's Nico Frank. Uh, there you yeah, go. There you go. That's where you go. And what we're going to do is we'd love to hear a song when we come back. You cool with that? Absolutely. All right, Scott, you ready for this? Yes, so let's do it. People find out more about where you're at, Scott. Where do they go? They can go to ignited.live. Ooh, I like that live. Of course, this is the only place to go. And this is Music Disruption on Voices of Disruption. When we come back, Nico's going to jam out. We'll hear a song from him. We are here always to help you disrupt yourself. Hang out, we'll be right back. Ken Rakowski, Scott Page, Nico Yay. Frank, Voice of Disruption. When you got the midnight blues running through your skin And a crowd of people who want you in a desk somewhere Well, maybe she didn't stay for too long And now you're singing a sad song And unaware that I'm there But even when times are hard Even when it's going wrong But even when you ask yourself Where did all these scars come from? Yeah, I'm always there, yeah I'm always, always there But even when the midnight blues go out This is what she said to me when I was just a teen, yeah. This is what she said to me. For the world showed me what she truly means. So I took myself right out of my room and I found something else to do than soak around. Mm, this is what I found. A stranger danger than I had before. Something that scared me a little more than she did now. Then she did it now But even when times are hard Even when it's going wrong Even when you ask yourself Where did all these scars come from? Yeah, I'm always there, yeah I'm always, always there Even when the midnight blues go out I'll be there Even when the midnight blues go out I'll be there What you said, what you said to me. Hey, oh, even when times are hard, even when it's going wrong, but even when you ask yourself, Where did all these scars come from? Yeah, I'm always there, yeah, I'm always, always there. But even when the midnight blues go out, I'll be there, yeah. Even when the midnight blues go out, I'll be there, oh, Even when the midnight blues go out, I'll be there. <laughs> All right. Yeah! Thank you. Very good.